Hey guys, it's Willow. I wanted to uh, take the opportunity today to do an update video on my progress. I am moving very quickly now um, through the game, uh, through finding my final last giants that I need. Um, so things are moving so quickly that I just wanted to uh, kind of show you what I've been working on and what I've been doing. But first, before we dive into that, I just wanna thank you all for your ideas and your enthusiasm. Right now, the videos I'm making are mostly based on what I'm working on in the game. Um, but as I advance through these, these new giant and these new lab updates, um, you know, we'll get more into the, the tips and the tricks videos at a later time. But please just keep commenting with what else you'd like to see. I really appreciate all of your comments and your feedback. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep the content flowing for you. So please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know whenever any new videos are posted. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into what I've been working on in the last couple days. All right, so everything that you're seeing from this point on is pre-recorded. I recorded this yesterday on March 1st. I finished all of my common giants, so I moved on to the uncommon egg um, and was trying to fill in that um, index and complete those. So here on my lab page, I'm showing you uh, the setup that I have going on here to mine for giants and also to hunt for metallics. So I'm currently hunting for rare metallics. Um, I believe at this point I still needed two rare titaniums. So that was what I was working on. And also you can see how quickly I am mining. Um, my, in my lab on the very top tier, there is a boost for mine speed. And that is a game changer. Um, with that activated, and it's not even maxed, I believe it at, in this clip here, I believe it was around 18 or 19 out of 25. You're just mining so quickly. And now also the fact that my uncommon giant egg percent is at 100%, which means I hit the egg every time. I'm guaranteed to at least get stones, uh, double strike or higher every time. Um, so that is just a game changer. Here you see my giant score at the time was around 4,000. I completed all of my common giants and had just one, two, three uncommons to find. So that is what I was working on here. Here now you can see on my metallics, I have just eight left to go. Um, I have two rares at this time. I had two rare titaniums to find and six epics left. And then I will have completed the 1200 metallics. You can see right above the generation egg bar, it shows you what strike you're getting each time. If you are getting a strike, there's a penta. You see the egg shaking and successfully turned into a giant. So here's my stats page and you can see in the first column there, permanent stats. Those are gonna be things coming from 
the things you've purchased in the rebirth cave, the walls, the metallic luck in the grove, things like that. The middle column dynamic, that means that it's, it's changing. It could change. Um, so whenever you're designing your lab page and you're picking different things, those stats are going to change. Um, also it's impacted by the levers in the back of the mine. When you have those turned on or off, you can see my mine speed is 1.05, which is crazy. Without that boost from the lab page, my mining speed is 0.69. So that is a crazy, crazy boost. And you can see by the speed of me mining and how quickly I'm getting penta strikes that that has been a huge help um, and has helped me progress very quickly. Showing you some additional updated stats here. My total pet score is at 59 million. My shiny score is at 55 million. And taking a look at my shinies here, total number of shiny skins. Looks like all of the ascended pets are now over 100K for shiny skins. And uh, looks like my mythical shinies are, have almost caught up to my prodigious. I'm going to activate Titanium Blade and Titanium Handle. These are ingot boosts, and this is going to give me even more chance to get a double or triple strike while mining the egg. So you will see that on the right-hand side of the screen, it's counting down from 1,000. And I'm getting a ton of pentas now that I've activated that. Um, so counting down from a thousand once that runs out then I can choose to reactivate it or not But you cannot stack these so I can't choose to Have a continuous flow of these extra strike locks. I Have to run over there and activate them after it runs out There's Another penta and <clears throat> You will know if you are going to successfully get a giant because the egg shakes for a little bit longer. So if you watch the egg, there were two in a row. There's a third and they kind of shake and then go away. So those are not successful giants. We'll see if we can get a successful one so you can see here what I mean. And basically that just has to do with the amount of giant luck that you have, how many times you're going to get a successful giant from a penta strike. I'm getting tons of pentas and that is because I boosted my strikes, but I'm not getting the giants from those eggs because my giant luck is not currently boosted. It's just at, I believe around 6.7. Now I do have the lever on in the back, but even still, you can see I'm missing a lot of opportunities with the penta strikes. They're not turning into giants. Looks like we're getting a giant. Yep, there we got a leopard. Not sure if you noticed, but the egg shook just a little bit longer on that one. And that's how you know that you're going to be getting a giant. Oh, and then a cow. And a mountain goat. So we got three right in a row there. Those ingot boosts really help a lot. And there we got a shiny, surprised chameleon. And uh, there goes a 
An ingot scrolling across the generation bar there. Don't know if you saw that. Well, here we're getting another giant. We got a shiny giant black ram. Now shinies are the same amount of points as a regular giant. So this uncommon shiny would be two points. And also if you happen to get a shiny of a unique giant that you don't already have, it counts as both in your index, okay? So if I didn't already have that black ram, it would have counted towards my regular giant and also my shiny giant. Giant Snow Monkey, so this was a new giant for me. This was a unique one. Um, so at this point, I had almost completed all of the uncommon giants that I needed. Got another shiny. Let's bring a unicorn. So I did very well yesterday with the uncommon giants. At this point, I only needed one more, which was the spiky shroom. And um, I did manage to get that later on in the afternoon. So I completed all of the uncommon giants in less than a day that I needed. And then I was just left with the task of finding my last two rare titanium metallics that I needed uh, so that I, once I got that last uncommon giant, I could move over to the rare egg. So then the last thing for me to do on this day was to get my last uncommon giant, which was the spiky shroom. I did end up getting that later that afternoon. And then I needed to get two titanium rares um, that I was hunting. And I got one pretty early on and the other one just would not pop for me. So um, I had intended to hatch and generate rares overnight that evening and literally right before I was about to go AFK for the night it sure enough popped open and it was a triple and that was amazing I was so excited so um, I was able to then switch to um, epics and uh, started working on getting the last six epics that I needed to complete my metallic index almost at 1200 um, and then yes as of today I am down to just needing five so very exciting times um, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an update I am working hard again today on my rares trying to fill them in and uh, thank you again everyone for subscribing and for watching I really appreciate it um, please go ahead and leave me a comment I would love to hear from you and take care everybody I will see you in the next video